And we continue to follow breaking news in Secaucus. A brush fire that was burning near the New Jersey Turnpike, as you can see, it's now out. Uh, the, and what's left behind is this charred area. Uh, Shannon Sohn is in Newscopter 7 with what you can what you can see from that vantage point. Shannon, it looks like firefighters are still working the area. I'm sure there's still many hot spots. Yeah, there certainly are. They're certainly trying to get a little bit of extra water on this, especially towards the north end of the brush by the Meadowland Distribution Center to make sure it doesn't kick back up. But we can show you some tape from when this was really going because the flames were bursting some 20, 30 feet in the air at points, and it took out the entire area between the New Jersey Turnpike and the New Jersey Transit tracks. Now, as we come back to live pictures here, we can really give you a taste of what happened here. You've got about 1,000 feet of brush that burned right in between those two points that the fire department was trying to get to. Here's where all of your issues are. They had to get to this from the New Jersey transit tracks on the Northeast Corridor. And you can see here that we still have activity there. Now, we have some New Jersey transit and Amtrak delays due to catenary wire issues at Penn Station. The problem with New Jersey transit and the suspension has nothing to do with this, but the effort to get the issue repaired by Amtrak is hampered by this because they're having a hard time at getting through the tracks because of the firefighting effort here. On the other side, at the New Jersey Turnpike, on the northbound side, you've got a couple of lanes taken out with the fire department activity that gives you delays that are going all the way back to Snake Hill. And on the southbound side of the New Jersey Turnpike's eastern spur, you've got some more police department activity that's slowing things down there along with people just rubbernecking through the area. So it is a mess for cars. It is a mess for transit through this area. But it does appear that the fire department is starting to get the upper hand here in Secaucus. Reporting live over Secaucus, Shannon Stone, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Okay.